Okay, so last year you auditioned for drama school, you may have got a recall, you may have even got to the final round, but somewhere along the line something didn't quite go as planned or you just didn't get the result that you wanted, which means that last year, or this year, is not your year. And this can be so frustrating because you work so so hard, you get so so far, but then you fall at the last hurdle. I feel you, I'm there with you, and it sucks. And by the way, if you are new here, Hi, I'm Louise, I'm an acting coach and for years I have been coaching and training actors both professionally and people who are hoping to go to drama school and it is my mission to get you into the audition room, nailing those auditions and getting the results that you want. So you can stick around for more knowledge and tips and rants because I love a little rant from time to time. And in this short video we are going to be coming up with a game plan for how to make next year's audition process your year. We're going to be looking at bouncing back and strategizing for the audition season to come. So strap in, let's go! First of all, you are going to grieve the loss. You gotta just acknowledge that you worked really really hard, that you wanted something really really badly and it just didn't work out. And by acknowledging that you can actually allow yourself to feel the feelings that are valid in this moment. Because you allowed yourself to think ahead and think, if I get this offer, this is what my life is gonna be like, and isn't it gonna be amazing, and I get to do this and that and this, and it just didn't work out. So of course, emotions are part of that. It's devastating. Devastating, but not terminal. So allow yourself a short space of time to actually mourn it, but not too much time that you just sink into that and wallow in that self-sadness. Next, you are gonna acknowledge that getting a no today Today does not mean getting a no tomorrow. And by this I mean there are always opportunities, there are always more people, more audition panels out there who are willing to say yes. And drama school auditions are super super competitive. Each year you get thousands of people auditioning for just a handful of places. So the likelihood of you getting accepted in your first year of trying or even your second year of trying is not that common. It can take several years of you applying and auditioning and getting really really close and not getting it to actually then getting a place. That is the norm. My best friend, for example, it took him several years of applying and auditioning to actually get into drama school. He eventually went to RADA and now he is a BAFTA award-winning actor. Like he's got like a real BAFTA and I've like gone to his flat and I've held it and it's heavy. So do not despair. Just because you get a no now doesn't mean that you're going to get a no in the future. Okay, next up is the strategy. To begin with, you are going to want to decide whether you want to apply and audition at the same schools that you did last year. Because now that you've had the opportunity to audition for them, you can think, okay, did I like that school? I met the staff. What were they like? What was the whole process like? Can I see myself here? What were the vibes like? Do I like it here or do I not like it here? And that can encourage you or dissuade you from actually applying again. And that's great because the more you know, the better you do. So spend a bit of time now evaluating what did I like about the application process and the audition process last time round from school to school and think really long and hard and objectively about do I want to reapply here? Can I see myself here? Next, you are going to want to choose some new audition material. Do not, under any circumstances, use the same speeches that you used last year. Reason number one, because last year the speeches didn't work for you. So what makes you think that they're going to work this year? Just drop them, move on, find something new. And two, energetically speaking, those speeches that you used last year are going to be carrying this kind of energy and vibe of rejection with it. It's got bad energy and you don't want to be carrying the bad energy through to your new audition season. You want some nice, new, fluffy, colourful, nice, happy energy. And you get that in the form of new speeches. Now the question I always get asked at this point is, I don't have anything else, where do I find new material? Well for that I have a solution. You can grab my speech recommendation lists from my website. I've got both contemporary and classical speeches and all together I've got over a hundred recommendations. A hundred different speeches from loads and loads of different plays and it is a great springboard to actually be able to find new material, read some new plays, get some new material and start getting excited about the audition season to come. So if you're interested in that, everything is in the description below. And always remember when you are choosing a new material, you need to read the play. You need to read the play in its entirety to figure out what is going on, to actually gauge whether this is a speech that is suitable for you or not. Next, you are going to look at working on your redirection skills. And this is specifically for your recall rounds, because if you flew through the first round, and went straight on to recall rounds or went to final rounds, 
but then you struggled in those second or third or fourth final rounds, the likelihood is it has something to do with your ability to take on and actually carry out redirection. Recalls are all about the redirection because the panel get to see so many different things about your ability that they can't get any other way in such a short space of time. It assesses what you do under pressure, how you collaborate and work with others, how well you listen and process notes, and your ability to shift your creative process in real time. So redirection is so, so important. And to help you with this, I've put together a free redirection prompt sheet. So this is a digital download that you can get from my website that has 30 different redirection prompt, redirection notes that you can use to actually stay flexible and adaptable with your speech before you go in for recall rounds. And this is a really popular digital download from my website. There's been loads and loads of people that have been grabbing at it and saying that it's super useful for them to start practicing their redirection. Because the more you practice, the easier it's gonna be when you actually get into those recall rounds. So this guide is super, super useful. And if you wanna download it, it is in the description box below. And like I said, this is for recall rounds and for recall rounds and only. So don't worry about the idea of redirection and changing up and staying flexible and adaptable with your first round or your self-tape auditions. Those rounds you want to be concentrating on your initial interpretation of the speech. So stick to what you want to do with it, go in strong and then wait for the recall rounds to actually start doing redirection. And lastly, you can look into getting some coaching because if you struggled last year and you didn't get the results that you wanted, it might be really useful to get an outside perspective from somebody who is actually experienced and knowledgeable in this capacity, me. So if you are interested in working with me, then all of the details of how you can contact me are below. I'd be over the moon to actually meet you for a 20 minute free strategy call on Zoom to chat through your goals, chat through what you found difficult last year, and then at, for us both to come up with a plan of how we can get you the results that you want. So there we go. That is your strategy for what you were going to do looking forward to the audition season to come. And as always, if you liked this video, then make sure that you click like, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you tell loads of people about this, loads of your actor friends, because the more that we know, the easier it's gonna be when you actually get into the audition room. And if you've got any questions, then pop them below. I'd be delighted to get back to you. But until next time, bye.